Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Beastie and today we are back on the glorious game that is 60 seconds. A game about 10... I th I, actually, I think I've done this intro multiple times. You, you guys know what's going on. Ted, my boy, is surviving at the cost of his family. We sent out Timmy. He never returned. Poor boy, he died. We sent out Dolores. I do not think she will return. And the fat... Pudgy bitch. I, I can't remember her name, but we left we left her fat ass back at the very beginning. We ain't got time for that. But oh, we got mail. Look, there's mail in the mailbox. Why oh, is an apocalypse? Why is there mail? Anyway, guys, we're back on 60 seconds, and I realize I've been dragging this series out, but listen, I, I wanted to take time. 60 seconds is a very cool game. I wanted to explore the lore of the story, have fun with it, and uh, yeah. That's why I'm taking my time on it, but I think we're getting uh, like close to the end of the 60 seconds storyline. Or not storyline, but we're, we're about to be saved by the army, or we're gonna die. It's day number 31. Oh, that's right, Dolores did return! And the little bitch used up our supplies! What? You used an entire first aid kit for the sniffles! God dang woman! But, you know, she came back from the dead, basically. There's radiation out there, we've got radiated cockroaches! It's a good thing she didn't come back with, like, mutated giant left arms. This is my right arm. Gi giant mutated left arm or something, you know, so for that we're thankful. But we don't have a first aid kit, and my boy is sick. Dear God, let's hope Ted doesn't die. Ted is the man. Ted is me. I'm pretending like Ted is myself because I'm not Dolores. I don't know about you, but I got a flat chest. So, so does she, but it's okay. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, please don't be dead, Ted. Please, please, c come back to light, Ted. C light? Come back to life. Don't go towards the light in the tunnel. It's not good. Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us. And there's not much we can do about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince them to pay the rent. Ted... You're, it's okay, we already know Ted's going off the deep end. He's he's just not here anymore. He's off in that beautiful sky where people can be insane and be normal. High school, college. Dolores will not survive. Oh, that's right. Oh, no. We don't have water. What are we going to do? Oh, no. We don't have any water. Dolores will not survive without water. Ted, look. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right, you, you both get a ration. And we don't. Oh, no. We don't have a first aid kit. Oh, no! Don't tell me- I, I, I have to send out Ted, don't I? Oh, no, please don't tell me this is gonna be the end of the series right now. Take the first- the, not the first aid, take- take the Boy Scout book! Oh, no, Ted's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no, you can't survive without water, Mother Trucker! And Ted's sick as well, he'll never make it! Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Ted left for the surface. We hope we'll uh, hear back, or he'll be back soon. I don't think he will. He took the Boy Scout book. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what? All I can do is give you soup. Hopefully, that'll be enough sustenance, enough liquid to keep you alive. We've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there is still much to be done, like trimming that shrubbery in our yard. You're, you're trying to survive the apocalypse. Who cares about shrubbery? Oh, they're going crazy. That's definitely something we want to do when we get out of here. And they have a, a drawing of a, of a car. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're insane. And plus, who's writing this? Because they're always referring to multiples when there's clearly only Dolores left. I, I honestly don't understand. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. I already know Tez dead. The end! No! Oh, no! 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 Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. We found our house the house walls painted with bizarre symbols and profanities. The shelter trapdoor was locked, and the sign above it read, Marlin rules here. Damn you, Marlin. Damn you to hell. Who is Marlin? Who is Marlin? If we had only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Oh no. We survived for 36 days. Day one, okay, no! No! Can I undo it? Can I make it better? No! No, 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 hold up, hold up. There's gotta be a way to continue. Can I go back from the last save? There's no way this is the end! No way, no, hold up. 
No! Okay, since we died, I'm gonna try to survive by the military in this episode. It's not gonna be too long, don't worry. But this time I think we can do a lot better. We've got Atomic and we've got Scavenge and Survival. What's the, I, for, I forgot what's the difference. Let's go with Survival. Uh, experience a one-of-a-kind post-apocalyptic adventure, survive in your fallout shelter with randomly selected supplies. Ooh, okay, that'll be saved for another episode. I want to go back to Apocalypse. What's this one? The full atomic experience, scavenge around your- Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do this. And, uh, we're gonna go with normal again. Listen, this time we're gonna survive. I'm gonna make it all the way to the end. We're gonna grab family members first and foremost. Well, yeah, that's a good idea because then we could have them go out and scavenge and leave Ted at home. That's right, three people to scavenge, possibly come back, and Ted is safe and sound. Yeah, I'm kind of butthurt we died, but I knew I shouldn't have sent Ted out. I knew it. It soup has water in it. This is unrealistic. A can of soup should supply enough hydration to let you live at least a couple more days. Okay, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. Let's go to... Yes, this is perfect. We've got gun and fat bitch right here. This is exactly what we need. We've got, it looks like a suitcase, flashlight in there. There's Dolores. There's a kid. All right, all right. Grab you. Grab you. And I can't grab gun. Run, 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 run. Drop, 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 drop. All right, all right, all right, all right. Gun, 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 gun. And we got soup. Oh, this is already going great. And water, water. Perfect. Oh, I didn't grab the water, but that's okay. You go in there. And then quick, rush, 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 rush. Dolores. Yes. Okay. And uh, Matt. Perfect. And water. Water, 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 my boy. Water, water, water. Grab the water. You stupid, arrogant cuss. I right, run, run, run. You in there. You in there. Perfect. Uh, kid, we need to grab Timmy. Yes, Timmy. You uh, seem to be very busy. Boy Scout book. That's perfect. Go in here. Grab the water. Yes, perfect. Oh, we are doing so much better than the last time. Down there in the shelter, uh, we need something to entertain ourselves with because our right hand is just not going to do it. More soup, more water, and we've learned from last time that this is a must-have. Holy cow, we are doing good. All right, down there. Do I have time? Yes, I do have time. I have to. Flashlight. Uh, flashlight, flashlight. I definitely need the flashlight. I don't know what's inside of there, but that's going in there. Do I have time for anything else? Uh, nope. Don't have time. Don't have time. We did so much better. Holy crap, dude. We did so much better! Whoa! Last time we only grabbed like a Boy Scout book, a gun- Oh, I, I didn't grab bullets for the gun. But it's okay, we have all the family members and that's what counts. Day number one, beautiful family, four bottles of water, they said three cans of soup or four. A padlock, an axe, a gun, a, uh, a checkerboard, and a briefcase? What's in the briefcase? And uh, yeah, we, we did pretty good. Alright, let's see day number one. All of us made it to the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. All right, so I'm going to rush through this. I'm not going to really bother too much, and I'm going to try to survive for as long as possible. No, three days for each of you before you get any water or food. Uh, you maniacs, you blew it up. Aw, damn you. Damn you all to hell. That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Those were good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. What is that supposed to mean, Ted? Or whoever's writing this? I still don't know who's writing this. I'm guessing it's like the narrator, like somebody's narrating the story. And also, what good is the padlock? What good- I don't know, but we should have grabbed a gas mask. Uh, living in the past is- oh wait, living in the past, yeah, that's right, is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow, Mary Jane. All right, so you guys are doing pretty good right now. New and- all right, yeah, all right, so, um, no water yet. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Nobody's going anywhere right now. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear, a pipe is leaking green goo. That's not good. I've never seen that option before, or this storyline before. That's not good at all. We need to act now, and no one packed a mop. What do we do? Is there even a mop in the game? I don't know. What good would have it? Well, well, why have an option for a gas mask? What would that have done? We could have figured it all out. Okay, yeah, super a regular pipe would do events. Water is what Mary Jane needs most. One more day, guys, and you can have water. Uh, where is water when Ted needs it? One more day, guys, and you can have water. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Good. Nobody's going anywhere. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This just might be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our home. Shall we go out and find out if it's really happening? Nope, nobody's going anywhere. We are going to wait until radiation is... Dead. Everything is shaky. Cancer jumping all over the place. All right, so uh, no, no one's doing anything. We're gonna go as long as we can, and if there's opportunities that come up, then we'll uh, accept them as maybe fate. Who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll get robbed. What? Well, that's one hell of a mess. What was the, what was the previous scenario? It was an earthquake. 
God dang it, dude! We already lost our radio and our flashlight! God dang it! On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed- What? What expedition? I didn't send any of you out! What are you talking about? Drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup? You think somebody marked a secret stash of food, Ted, on a wall in the public? No, of course you're not going anywhere, Ted. Jeez, you're retarded. We're going to have to play our cards really well to survive this. Day number seven. Everybody's looking o uh, okay, so... Uh, we're not going to run around like knights of the round table following some madman scribbles on the wall. That's what I'm saying, man. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind the door. Uh, when we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It had no address or name on it, but we were pretty sure it's been for us. Should we open it? Yes, and it's probably cockroaches, but who cares? Open it up. Please don't be cockroaches. Be a radio. Be a gun. Be bullets. No cockroaches. That's a good sign. And we didn't lose anything. Inside the suitcase, we found some soup, but yuck. It expired a long time ago. We're not feeling very... Oh, God. So the soup wasn't even worth it. it. We didn't even get it. It was expired. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood. Okay, so you guys are doing A-OK. -okay. We're going to uh, survive as long as possible, and we're going to make it out alive, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to happen. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want. Okay, so yeah, we're basically going to use the radio, but we can't use the radio. Oh, and Ted's sick? When did that happen? Oh my god, this rushing business isn't very good. Ted's sick. Oh no. Oh no. If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use our radio. Okay, yeah. Um, Dolores has to drink something. All right, one more day, guys. One more day. Ted... Oh, I don't have a first aid kit. Oh no, all right, full supplies for you because I don't want Ted to die. The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions would result in radiation sickness. No one's going anywhere. Oh, we were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of the wasteland? How the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? Yes, we need all the help we can get. If somebody's knocking, they're not trying to break the door down, which means they are good-hearted people. And now, the fat bitch. I can't remember her name. Mary Jane is sick. God, dude, no. Oh, we got water. A group of travelers were wearing gas masks and carried some serious-looking equipment. Gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. All right, well, that was nice. Um, but now, freaking whatever her name is is sick. Dolores will not survive without water. Okay. Oh, no. All right, water for each of you. God, dude, and then one can of soup for you. This isn't going too well. I don't think we're actually going to make it. It's difficult to keep track of the time down here, but at least we remembered it's Timmy's birthday today. He's growing up so fast, we should get... Oh, okay, we can get him something. What are we going to give him? Um, you know what? Go on, give him a checkerboard. The, the poor boy. It's his birthday, and he only gets a checkerboard. Or board. I can't speak. It's all right, I I'm choking with emotion. One thing we didn't expect is a band of all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let the clowns in? They might provide some quality entertainment. It sounds almost too bad to be believable. Like I would think they're whack, but with that being said, you never know. People do some strange stuff on YouTube. I'm willing to believe it. Please don't take anything. They took something, didn't they? I don't see... Yeah, they took soup, didn't they? Oh, come on! Why rob from us? Oh, no! Those merry men were not merry at all. God dang it! We lost our padlock and our axe. You little dirty cunts, you stole from us. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted's fine. All right. God dang it, dude. Jeez, we decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We only had a moment to decide what to do. Good! That, that, that's not gonna do anything, but maybe he'll be scared. Who knows? If it's an animal, maybe he has a brain. We lost Ted, didn't we? No! Thank God, all right. Whew. All right, let's see what happened. A quick shot with the rifle was, a, was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalked us in the darkness. Nice, dude. We're going to go on and send out Mary Jane tomorrow because I think she can become a mutant. We're surprised our generator is still running. We're at least getting some light in here, but uh, okay, without a flash, it's too sorry. All right, now, forget it. We can't do anything without a flashlight. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? What the heck? A double tail? Are you sure you're not talking about a human? 
Like two ass cheeks? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. All right, gun, shoot it, shoot it. Watch, you'll accidentally shoot Dolores. Hit by it, I mean, Ted will accidentally shoot Dolores. I knew it, you're so stupid, Ted. <sighs> our cans are saved, too bad. All right, well, we lost a gun. Uh, Ted looks like he's got one foot in the ground. All right, Ted, all right, full supplies for you. It's been a while, we don't know. All right, we can't use the radio. Things are getting pretty tight down here. We've been fighting with Dolores over the last can of soup. She insists we should eat the entire thing right now. Eating all our food at once? Madness! It's better to save it for later. Or shall we share it now? Share it now. YOLO, I think we're about to die. I didn't take this series seriously enough. Everyone's dead. Yep, I knew it. Ted's left. Freaking Dolores is dead. Timmy ran away. God dang it. We only had a few drops of water. We could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opens the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Dolores was right. We should have shared the can of soup. Uh, well, we did, but okay, whatever. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to shh, a crappy place. Right, okay, please come back. Please, Mary Jane, come back. Please come back. We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted. When the map fell down, oh, I remember this. Okay, so we need to definitely check that. Yes, please be back, Mary Jane. <laughs> no. God dang it. And Ted's still sick. Freaking bitches over here. Waifu's dead on the ground, just a skeleton. That hair? How is there hair still left on your head when you're a skeleton? Your skin's off. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad. Oh, no. So she is dead. I'm not sending Ted out to answer anything right now. Nope. Nothing. Nowhere. The end! I knew I should have given Ted supplies. I knew it. I knew it. Ted's dead. He's insane. He's dead. Oh, I'm so bad at this game, dude. I'm so bad. You know, ladies and gentlemen, that's been 60 seconds. There is another game mode that I want to play. And uh, I can't believe we perished. I really wanted to survive. Man, this was really disappointing for me. God dang it, I even tried to go a second time and rush it and we died, but whatever. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed. We will be doing another 60 seconds very soon where I will be doing the survival situation. Basically, experience a one-of-a-kind post-apocalyptic adventure, surviving your fallout shelter with randomly selected supplies, so that should be fun, but I probably won't do that for about a month or so, but yeah, it's been 60 seconds. I wish we could have survived longer and, well, basically survived long enough to be picked up by the military, but in the end we died. It's pretty sad, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the series, and uh, peace out! Yo, that sucks, dude! What the heck? Ted went and died? My boy Ted! Why did you have to die on me, man? You know, if it were me, I would have resorted to cannibalism and freaking eating Dolores' body, but, but I guess Ted has morals. In the end, where did it get him?